Okay, I got me some nice uh, PLA to print with, uh, but the, those are just a half kilo. So they, they don't come in those uh, nice spindles uh, you see like here. Um, so I needed a solution uh, to um, unwind them uh, uh, easily. So uh, this is my setup. Um, well, actually it's a, it's a bucket upside down. And it's on a um, um, uh, spinning disc. You, um, you, they were used to uh, put on uh, TVs on them. So you could uh, spin them around uh, at an angle. But now, now I'm using them uh, to uh, turn the, um, the bucket. <laughs> and it uh, works quite nicely. Um, I'm printing with my um, uh, MakerBot, a thing o -matic. And uh, these guys have um, a bit of a problem printing with uh, PLA. Uh, so what I'm doing is um, I'm feeding the wire through this uh, magic box here, which I printed of course, um, with uh, oops, a little bit too much light, with a small little sponge in it, and then I put this stuff on. It's uh, well motor oil. So uh, what it does is it lubricates the wire, which you can follow uh, down here, which gets fed into the machine. I've got a little sponge in there uh, to get rid of some excess oil so, because sometimes uh, yeah, you just get too much oil on it and it starts oozing out of the, um, the print head. And uh, I'm, I'm printing um, along here with my transparent PLA, which uh, works quite nicely. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I think ABS is a little bit easier to print uh, for this type of printer, but hey. Um, this is uh, working, so I'm not complaining. So, um, well, maybe uh, this will help somebody uh, out there trying to print with PLA um, with a thingomatic. Well, Peter was signing off.